doing. Um, just to sum up the feeling um, amongst you, you and the players going into a game that if you win it, could get you back up to sort of the, the top table, if you like, you know, the European elite clubs, clubs, yeah. countries, obviously. Yeah, I think um, excitement. I think it's another challenge for us. Um, We've had many challenges as a group since we've obviously started out together and um, been under the manager. So this is another challenge that um, if we go and win the game, then we win the group. So it's one we look forward to and it's it's one we'll embrace and, and one we'll try and meet head on. And obviously you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but the, the thoughts of, you know, maybe pitting your, your, your wits against the likes of maybe France or Portugal or whoever, should things go your way? I mean, that that's what, what everyone kind of dreams about, that kind of high level, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big carrot for us as players, um, especially I talk about myself. Or if you if you want to go and compete and and try and pl compete against the best players in the world, then this is a great opportunity for us um, as a squad and as a group to to go and showcase that. You you win a match tomorrow and it could set you up um, big games and and big ties against top quality opposition. So um, there's a lot to play for tomorrow night and we're looking forward to it. And how are the, the energy levels? Because it's obviously been quite um, physically demanding, but mentally and emotionally demanding as well. Yeah, I think obviously um, we knew before we came away on the trip it was going to be um, a big trip for us. And obviously we knew we had the final, which we knew there was going to be pressure on, and as there always is in cup finals. But I think as players we kind of handled that. I think the manager um, kind of tried to keep everything basic and what we have been doing. There was no real change. and. Um, the build up to the game. So, for us in Slovakia game, there was there was changes as well. So for us as players, it's just you, you got to refresh, recharge, and go again. And in the last two games in particular, I was just wondering, ask the manager the same question: Is, is something clicked because the, the way Scotland played and you know kept the ball and created chances that they were two really impressive performances back to back. Yeah, I think as a squad, we want to always improve and. Um, in each trip when we come away, we talk about can we can we improve, can we um, have better performances than what we've had and can we have better results and obviously um, the result the other day never went our way but it, and by no means it wasn't a bad performance. I just think if, if we maybe got ourselves in front or the game would have been different but um, we just couldn't get back into the game but the performance was good I, I thought in the main and we created good chances but um, Tomorrow's another chance for us to go and start another winning run, hopefully, and um, it's going to be a tough night. Ryan, in some ways, is this game almost as important as, as last week's Serbia match? Just, you know, with the, as you say, keeping that progress going ahead, looking, you know, further another two years down the line? Yeah, definitely. I think the other night was obviously huge, but that's for us as players now. We've had that, we've we've enjoyed it, and um, we kind of probably need to just forget about that now and... We need to move on because this game could be massive for us going forward, obviously in the future. So we kind of all know that and I'm sure tomorrow night we'll, everyone will be at it and we'll be looking to obviously start another impressive run. Obviously, you know, getting to a Euros and breaking that sort of long spell in the wilderness as it was, um, was such a huge achievement for, for the nation. But, you know, getting to a World Cup, I suppose that's an even higher level that it's... it's it's where Scotland sort of football and sort of history was made. I mean, is that the real level that the team wants to get back to? Oh well, I think obviously, as, as I've touched on before, the other night was a was a great achievement and um, as a group of players. But as I've said, you, you always want to look forward, and I think you've touched on there. It's the World Cup's huge as well. So for us, it's can we build on what we've achieved the other night? Can we build on that, and can we go and get to another major tournament? Because um, that that's what it's about for us. It's about not just getting to one major tournament and thinking, oh, we've we, we need to stand still. We've kind of achieved what we wanted. We want to be a team and a squad of players that can can go and achieve kind of maybe back to back major tournaments or uh, more success going forward. So that's got to be the aim, and um, it's important that we don't dwell on the other night and, and stand still. How much have you so developed Ryan on the basis of what you're doing at Rangers? Sorry, say that again. How much have you developed as a player in confidence on what you've been doing at Rangers and European football to to becoming what you would hope would be an ever present in this Scotland midfield? I think um, obviously at club level, the manager St Stephen Gerrard, when when he's obviously came in and worked with me, and um, he, he's worked hard with me and kind of showed that trust and belief and. 
Um, I've since I've first spoke to Steve Clark as well. He showed the exact same sort of trust and belief. And as a player, that's that that helps me a lot, and um, that can get the best out of me if you like. So, um, in that sense, it's been similar. But the European games with Rangers, they always help because you're playing against internationals. So when you come away, it's sort of the same level if you like, and um, and it stands in good stead for for when you are coming away with Scotland. Ever, uh, every player is able to comment on Israel. Um, it's the Scotland team you've played them that often. Um, what do you make of them, and how different do you think this game is going to be because of that added edge? Yeah, I think um, personally, um, what I make of them is, I would say they've probably been our toughest game um, as a group over the over the two times we've played them recently, and um, both been very close games, as, as you could obviously see, and um, both been very tough nights for us. So. And that's at home as well. So, as I said, we're, we're no doubt that we're expecting a very tough night, a very tough match. But as I've said before, there's a carrot there that this could help us um, going forward and in the future. So it's a massive game for us. Ryan, is this the best you've felt personally at, at international level in terms of the way things are, are going in the Scotland camp? Yeah, without a doubt. I think... Um, Obviously, it's it's probably the the most regular that I've been in a squad or that I've played for for my country. So um, I'm loving every minute of it. The manager, obviously, Steve Clark's been absolutely excellent with me and with the squad. So everyone's really bought in. We've got a great team spirit um, at the minute. So everything's going well, and we want to just continue that. I know you're obviously rivals at, at club level, but do you feel you've uh, sort of got a good understanding with Callum McGregor when the two of you have played in that central midfield? Yeah, I think it's it's balanced off well and it's been working well and kind of that's why um, both of us have been playing together because the managers obviously recognised that and as players we've recognised it as well. But I don't think it's um, just obviously down to me and Callum having a good relationship. I think it's down to, as I've touched on before, our team spirit and um, and when we meet up that everyone's buying into um, how we play and how the manager wants to set us up and how we can get results. So um, I think it's been a real squad and team effort. Your performance against Milinkovic Savage was uh, very much praised. How much does your Euro experience with Rangers contribute to that? Because you played a lot of European games with Rangers at that level now. Yeah, I think obviously the European games with Rangers, it's a very high level. You're playing against um, top, top players. That if you switch off for a second or a minute, then you get punished. And none more so than what we've seen when we, we played Benfica recently that um, they were down to ten men, switched off twice, and we got we got punished to the highest level. So um, coming away with Scotland, it's the same. It's the same level. If you switch off for a minute, um, you don't pick up a man, or you leave a runner, then there's a big percentage that's going to be a goal. So that obviously helps that I've got that at club level at the minute, and I can hopefully be bringing that into to camp when I come away. What about this stat that Scotland have never lost a competitive game that you've started? I take it you know that, and if you have, have you let the no. manager know that? <laughs> no, I never knew that, but it's obviously good to hear. But um, as I've said, it's it's not down to, for me, it's not down to any individual. or um, it, it, It's been a real squad effort. I wouldn't even say it's been down to just the 11 or whatever gets picked by the manager. I think it's the, the, the squad's been consistent and who the manager's picked and um, we've all really bought into that, so it's been a real squad effort. Well, so you know, it's one draw and six wins since every time you've started. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> Ryan, you mentioned you, how much you're enjoying it being in Scotland at the moment. See, if you, if you were to go back maybe two or three years ago where you were on the periphery of the first team or periphery of uh, being in Steve Clark's squad to now where you're seen as you know a mainstay within the squad and if not the first 11, how would you chart that journey? Yeah, I think it's it's just typical in football that um, it's different opinions and it's it's all a journey that maybe if if you're not selected or if you're not in a squad or um, etc. It's how you react and you get that all through your football career. It's there's always going to be adversity and um, different opinions. So for me, it's just at the time I wasn't in favour um, for whatever reason. Maybe I wasn't doing well enough at my club or. Um, the manager that was in charge, but for me now it's um, the gaffer. Since I've spoke to the gaffer here now, that he he really um, made me feel a part of it from the first conversation that we had, and um, from there it's been it's it's all been go. So it's it's been excellent. And I suppose this game and in every other subsequent game for Rangers as well 
is about impressing the manager to, to be in for that Euro, that Euro squad come the summer. It must be a huge incentive and a hunger for you guys especially. Yeah, I think obviously in the build up to, to obviously the semi final and the final it was the car that was there for us to to play well week in, week out for our club, so we're in that squads and then going forward it's no different. I think we're all gonna go back to our clubs after this trip, um and there's gonna be a wee break from international football, but the, I'm sure the manager will be watching every game that every player's he'll be kicking every ball probably with every one of us and um he'll be watching over us and analysing our performances. So for us, it's you go back to our clubs, we have to um, keep the performances up, um, keep playing well and hopefully you, you do well enough to be selected come the next camp. Final questions, folks? Fantastic. All good. Cheers, Ryan. Thank you. Good luck, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.